hooray! That was a very relevant song to have opened the stream to because we just got a certain thing in the mail that I'll be unboxing today. Uh, it's the soundtrack. The soundtrack is out. Um, and I am insane. Uh, <laughs> what I mean by that is that um, I made a decision a few short months ago that I would obtain all of the ILTV merch there is. A bad decision, you might ask? No, a great decision. You know why? Because this stuff makes me happy and I like to own it. But that means that every few weeks we get in a shipment of stuff. I have succeeded. I have, I have obtained the goods. What I have in my possession is like six soundtracks. <laughs> I've been loving the creepy pasta tweets so much. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I haven't streamed in a while. Uh, there's actually a lot that's happened between um, my last stream and now, including we have a new Twitter account, which is called uh, I should know it. It's kind of silly that I don't. Uh, creepy pasta garage sale at creepy pasta sale on Twitter, um, and. This is like, um, it's, it's essentially, uh, like this, uh, this account that I use to make little, little silly joke tweets. Uh, they're not all mine. Uh, basically everyone in, in my, in my friend's group chat, uh, posts on this account. Um, Kira Cat, thank you so much for the resub for 43 months. Um, but basically what it is, it's like a role play Twitter account um posing as like the person who runs the garage sale that people get all of their haunted nintendo games from because you know how all the creepy pastas start the same they're all like they're all like uh i went to a haunted garage sale and i got a fucking haunted copy of super mario 64 where he tells you the times and dates of when everyone you know is going to die or whatever um i can't believe you got raised dub va for the stream I can't either, honestly. I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of on the moon about it. Um, yeah, we got, we got some silly stuff. We got <laughs> haunted video games. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, this is just, this is, this is the garage sale Twitter account. Um, we got, uh, we got all kinds of fun, silly stuff on here. Uh, this is my personal favorite, though. It's not the most popular tweet. It's still my favorite one. Which is selling Prima official strategy guide bound by human flesh and inked in blood. <laughs> uh, for those unaware, that's the Necronomicon from Evil Dead 2. Uh, well, the Evil Dead series. Uh, this, Char made this one. This is Missing No, shaped like a cock. Um, what else do we have? Oh, lovely art by Fable, Uber the Meh. Um, altered beast, but the real beast is society. Ben drowned repo cart. No soul just needs replaced a dead kid or old person. No, no low balls. Do not call me. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we got we got all kinds of funny stuff. This is also a personal favorite. I thought of this one at like six in the morning. Uh, one X copy of Chameleon Twist, but the twist is that you were raised by alcoholics, and this is a metaphor for what it's like to inherit their struggles. Comes with a surprisingly hopeful message at the end, but also the cartridge is filled with human remains. All sales final. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah it's just it's just like a fun little personal personal project that i've been doing um just for fun yeah the human remains are a bonus in case the game itself wasn't enough which it should be because chameleon twist is a damn fun game um y'all are welcome to make sub submissions just as long as if you if you if you message me, if you DM me on Creepypasta Garage Sale Twitter and make a suggestion for a tweet, you have to be OK with me not posting it if I decide not to. That's that's the that's the EULA that you sign the end user license agreement of sending me a, a tweet that you want me to submit uh, is that you got to be OK with me not posting it if I decide not to. No, yeah, you know, you can cry just like, you know, don't blame me uh, if you do cry. 
because then I'll feel bad and I don't like feeling bad. I only like good feelings instead of bad feelings. I don't know why that is. Uh, B Zega, thank you so much for the follow. I don't even know if I pronounced your name correctly, but I did my best. Oh, you'll blame yourself? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, do that. Make sure you focus all the ire inwards. Um, without further ado, we got a lot, a lot of stuff that I want to get through. And we got our, our watch party tonight. So, hello! Hi! I feel like we've been seeing a lot of each other recently, chat. And here, of course, is proof that it's the real me. I have my tattoo right there. Um... So, you know, it's it's me and not a sus imposter of Among Us. Uh, and we are going to start with. Hang on. What did I do with it? I had a little box. To open before my big box. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm about to get up and I don't I'm not wearing so socks or shoes. <laughs> so I got to turn the camera off. Oh, OK, cool. We did it. Sorry, chat. You will not be finding me on WikiFeet anytime soon. Okay. So the first thing we got, this is from Ami Ami. Ami Ami is a distribution. What, is this broken? Oh, <gasps> it's broken. No, it's cracked. How did that happen? <gasps> That's why you get two, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways. This is our soundtrack. Here's the front. Here's the back. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, let's see what the CD looks like. I'm going to open at least one of these. Where is, I should have scissors somewhere. Keyword should. There's a whole fucking mess on my, on my office desk because I've been cleaning and reorganizing and everything. So everything is everywhere and nothing is nowhere. This is bullshit. Scissors where? Where scissors? I wonder if I could use my tablet pen to kind of get under the little thing, the little crease. God damn. You had me so worried. I, I mean, I'm still sad about it, if that makes up for it, because that's one, one of my CDs just is cracked. Although, technically, you can just replace the jewel case, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> You can get someone else to replace it. True. Well, I just mean that I, I, I didn't necessarily want to, like, remove the original packaging and get the jewel case replaced. I guess it would have made more sense to open the one that was cracked. All things considered. I cannot open this. It's okay. Chat, we're just going to imagine what the inside of this disc looks like. Please, for the love of God, open. I'm so fragile. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to moan into the microphone. It just wasn't coming off. <laughs> All right. So we got this little removable bit. Oh, that's cute. She says, I'm in love with the villainess on the inside. That could be a little bookmark if we wanted it to be. Let's pop this puppy open. Ooh, that is pretty. Wow, look at that. That's kind of gorgeous, though. That's a beautiful CD. Let's take the insert out and take a look at it. It's got that new CD smell. So this is the uh, the front insert. 
it looks like maybe lyrics or it could just be credits you never know oh no these are definitely lyrics cool Too bad I can't read Japanese at all. But yeah, that's the CD. And the special thing about Amiyami is that it came with its own special bonus that we are showing off right now. Good thing this doesn't have a crack in it because this is much harder to get. Uh, these are sold out completely. And uh, it's a little acrylic pin, uh, kind of cheap because it's just like a safety pin on a hook. If you see, it's kind of weird, but it is cute. It is cute. It's the the back of the CD, uh, the the art that they have for that. Super adorable. Are you gonna be reflected in it? Let me. Maybe not. <laughs> my my camera's not in the same place as it was when you were reflected in the first acrylic. So. I do apologize for that. Wear it? Okay. This one's this this is one for the Eda bag though, for sure. I'll definitely put this one in my Eda bag, which I am I am getting together. I am making a Claire Francois Eda bag. Um, although since there's not a lot of uh, Claire merch that's specific to Claire just yet, it might be uh, like both. Uh, it might be Claire and Ray until I can get more just Claire stuff. OK. That is it for the Ami Ami order. And now it's time for the big one. So this is from Japan Rabbit, and they gave me a little handkerchief. Uh, I haven't been paid by them to advertise it, but I'm thinking maybe if I talk good about their service, then maybe they'll give me a sponsorship. I don't know how that works. Um, but they gave me this, this cute embroidered handkerchief, which was really cute. Uh, this is now the official rabbit of, I don't know, <laughs> buying too much Yuri. And this box is pretty big. This box is pretty big, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful with all this. All right, first up is... The stuff... Oh, this stuff is from... What website? I forget. Uh, let me check. I think this is Melon Books. I got to pull my Japan Rabbit account up, though. I got to give you all accurate information. It is Melon Books? The Tapestry? Yeah. I had a feeling it was. Yes, Melon Books is the Tapestry, as well as there's something else in here that I have to show you all. Okay, cool. Uh, this uh, acrylic keychain of Lene. Uh, this is specifically from the Maid's Kitchen spinoff. Um, so there was a spinoff manga called Maid's Kitchen that just got released recently. Um, and this is one of the pre-order bonuses. Mitzel, thank you so much for the 34 months. You finished all the light novels? Yes! Yes! What did you think? I heard brain worms, so that's a good start. Yeah, very cute Lene doing little heart hands. I wish the keychain bit wasn't in front of her face, but it's very cute. Also, I'm kind of surprised at how well my camera focused on that. It usually is uh, much more mean to me. Um, and then this is my new wall scroll, which I cannot wait to hang. I have wanted this for such a long time. Uh, I saw the promo art for this, I'm pretty sure, before it was announced that it would be the wall scroll and I love it so much. And it's got Lily on it. Hey, look how great this is. So this is for volume seven. It's a little spoilery, but not too bad. Um, an amazing book, an amazing piece of literature. Um, yeah, this is uh this is, this is a good one. Yeah. The reflection in the mirror 
It's so cute. Or cute? Good. It's epic. It's Pog Champ. The series is good. Oh my god, I, I love that. That Volume 7 is probably my favorite thus far. It's just so good. Uh, but Volume 8 is looking to be even better with how it's been shaping up so far. So we'll just, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, next. Oh gosh, we got books. Why do we have so many books? Uh-oh. Did I make a mistake? No, impossible. I've never made a mistake in my life. Okay, well, we got four, two copies of each book. Uh, this probably is what the acrylic came with, I assume. So this doesn't have an associated bonus. It's just nice to have here. It's just it's just a sealed copy of Maid's Kitchen, the spinoff that I was talking about earlier. And then this is, I believe, this is from Gamers, the Gamers uh, distribution website. There's a website called Gamers that distributes ILTV stuff. And they had their own bonus. And it's this very cute art card that I need to get out of the packaging, like, right away. I need to rescue it. Look how cute this is. I am framing this ASAP. I want to keep this nice and safe. Look how adorable it is. Look at Lily. Look at Claire. Look at Claire. Look at me. This is so adorable. This is actually so cute. Thank you, gamers. Who knew gamers was uh they had our back like this from the very start. Um and then of course it also comes with a copy of Claire in Wonderland, which we checked out last stream from one of our different uh copies of the series um now we have Ooh, okay so this is from what is this one from this one is from i believe this is from animate maybe not which one was this hang on i gotta i gotta look around i'm not entirely sure it's not the gamers one, but it, it comes with something. It comes with a thing. It comes with this art card for specifically the Claire in Wonderland uh, spinoff. I don't know. Is this this isn't I don't think this is gamers because gamers had a different reward. That's Melon Books. OK, so that's Melon Books. Thank you for keeping me straight. I appreciate it. Well, not straight, but you get it. Um, this is so adorable. It's so, so cute. It's so cute. Also, the Claire in Wonderland, uh, little mini comic is fantastic. So I highly recommend, uh, ordering it for yourself and, you know, translating it painstakingly with Google Lens. No, that one was not gamers. This one might be. Probably not, though. I don't think this one is gamers. Uh, this is probably Melon Books also, if I had to guess. Uh, but yeah, it's another little art print. This one is, uh, another one from the spinoff. This is one of the spinoff bonuses. Claire and Lene, eat it, eat a little strawberry cake. Super cute. I love the art style of the spinoff. It's so, it's so, it's so nice. It makes me happy. She eat a cake. I'm going to leave these shrink wrapped for now. Um, because we might be using them for the giveaways on saturday which by the way if you didn't know we're having a charity stream uh coming uh this saturday on the second and we got some really 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 cool guests some really awesome guests including the dub voice actor for ray and prince ron and my friend mona who is additional voices in iltv so we got a pretty stacked lineup uh, unfortunately, that's all the announcements I have for people who will be joining us for the stream. She said, lying. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. What I'm saying is there will be no more announcements, so you should uh, pay attention to my Twitter. 
another stack of oh my god it's the same book it's the same book but what's in here that's what's important what's this bonus so this this doesn't have a bonus with it because the pin is not a bonus for the manga is there something in your eye? Yeah, it's called poor camera tracking because I wear glasses. I need to know what the deal with this is. This is the one that I won't. This is the one version of this book that I'm taking out of the shrink wrap. Oh, no, I already did take a version of this book out of the shrink wrap. Fuck. Well, whatever. I just want to know if there's anything in it. I'm curious as to why there would be so many copies of this book that don't have any bonuses attached to them. I guess I'll never know. Why did I buy so many copies then? I don't know. Add it to the stack. Uh, so this is a bonus from the Rakuten bookstore. It is a little pin, a badge, a higher quality badge than the Ami Ami one. Um, and it's of the, the cover, the cover of the, the cover of the CD. Very, very beautiful. Should I wear it? I gotta wear it, right? Will dollop be on the stream? Absolutely not. No. Dollop will not be on dollop days. Um, I, I don't know where to put it. I guess on the other side. Okay, now we have a million copies of the CD, as is customary, because we did order from like a million different stores to get all the bonuses. See, it doesn't matter that one was cracked. We have all these. Here. We'll start a little stack so I can see my shame presented to me in real time. There. Oh god, it's falling over! It's falling over! Hang on. Oh. Okay. This is an ad for something. This is an ad for something. Ad for something. There we go. Jeez. Okay, there sure is a lot of stuff here. There sure is. Oh my god, Coastal! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs! Oh my god! Coastal! Thank you! I really appreciate it. Oh my god, that's so awesome of you. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know if there was ever anything in this little thing. This little sleeve. Okay, so, first, we have this. Which, I wish I had the page up that had where all the bonuses came from. It'd be really nice to know right about now. Um, Elfique, do you have that on hand, by chance? Not to make you dig for it. I was just wondering. You might in a moment. Okay, cool. So we won't know where this is from right away. But this is one of the bonuses. It is just a card. Uh, it's nothing, nothing too fancy. It's just got the back of the CD on it, but it is an ILTV bonus. So I had to order one legally. Next, we have this beautiful print of the front cover of the CD. This one is actually super nice. Uh, so even though it's just an art recreation, I actually really love it. Um, uh, unsure of the source, uh, but we'll find out pretty soon. Yeah, get get bright reflected. See there, you're in you're reflected now. Do you see yourself? 
Do you see yourself reflected in the gay people? You're right there. How wonderful. So I'm going to leave that in its package until I can get a proper frame. I actually have a lot of things I need, like, square frames for, which is weird. Oh, okay. So this is cool. Um, so this is an art card that you get for pre-ordering the CD from a certain place. And in when the Blu-ray comes out, it's going to come with a matching Claire one. And you can put them together. So one side is Ray, and then you see it cuts off here. Uh, and then the other side is Claire. So we have we gotta hold on to this little art card. That's super cute. Uh, we might have more than one of those. We do. We have two of them. Beautiful. So I guess two different places were doing that specific bonus. Next, we have a bromide, which is like a little picture. Oh, it looks like there's two. Two of them. Oh, awesome. It's like the two best frames. It's the two best frames. Ooh, they're very high quality. They're very nice. They got a nice sheen on them. Were you about to ignore that golden sheen? Hey, this is the one that we used for our stream notification today. Bromide sounds like a mineral. It is. It is one of those. It's, a, it's an element on the periodic table, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, super cute super adorable um i love these there's they're they're actually so nice oh uh i believe alfik just sent me the list of where all of these come from oh thank you so much thank you so much okay so now i can properly tell you these are from animate the website animate uh, the little one, where did the little one go? The little, the little, the little friend. Where did you go, the little friend? I got too much stuff on my desk. Here it is. Uh, this one is from Gamers. Okay, so we did get another Gamers bonus. Don't you, don't, don't even, don't even, oh, bromine is an element, bromide is a compound, maybe? Okay. I'm not a scientist. Not that you have to be to understand basic aspects of science, but. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been, I, I got passing grades, at least, in chemistry, but that's it. That's as, that's as far as I go. Um, this. is from Ami Ami. And then this is from the Rakuten bookstore. Now, I believe, oh wait, and then there's this one. This one is from Amazon. So, uh, yeah, that's that's from Amazon.jp. And then I believe there should be more. <clears throat> they might just. Oh, oh, I, I am waiting on two. I'm waiting on two bonuses that haven't shipped yet. So that's why I'm missing two. One of them is another bromide and the other one is a set of three bromides. So I got four four bromides on the way. Which Skylander which Skylanders element are you chat? I, I wanna be Skylanders element of uh ghost of necromancy. The scary one. I like the scary one. I don't know what the actual element is. Okay, so now we have this volume seven bonus. This one is from Animate. Thank you, Animate, for this blessing. Uh this is art by uh Aonoshimo, who is the manga artist. And it's just a cute little print of Lily, just a mini print of Lily. Um, it's unfortunate that Animate didn't get the bonus chapters this time. 
because they usually get these big art cards with bonus chapters attached to them. But you know what? This is the next best thing. Uh, and finally, uh, this last bonus for Maid's Kitchen um, is super adorable. I, 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 I can't even begin to think of where this one might have come from, <laughs> but uh, it's super adorable. It's super cute. Um, and it's uh, it's from the uh, the the Maid's Kitchen spinoff, and I love it so so much. Uh, so that is all the ILTV merch we have to. Oh, I hid the wrong window. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's all the ILTV merch we had to unbox. Obviously, I have a lot of CDs now, so I'm gonna give some of these away. Uh, in the upcoming stream, so. Well, we'll have a ton of giveaways. Please look forward to it. Uh, again, that's on Saturday. I'm wondering if I should give you a little sneak peek of who else I, I, I have joining or I don't know. I kind of like doing my daily Twitter thing. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, yeah, no, I. Uh, oh, do you want to make. Oh, you want to find info on the ILTV free company on 14? You want to make an alt and join? So it's on Goblin. And it is a role play server or a role play free company. And we aren't doubling up on characters, so I got to tell you who's in it. OK, hang on a minute. Sorry, chat, I got to answer. Myths all and then I can. Continue the stream, you know how it is. So Claire is taken. Ray is taken. Misha is taken. Minaria is taken and you is taken. So those characters are the ones that you can't use if you would like to join us. Not that you can't make an alt on a different server and play as those characters. But these these are the characters that have been taken so far. And Catherine? Oh shit, wait, yeah, you made Catherine, didn't you? We need to get you in the uh We need to get you in the server. Can you give us a hint as to the next guest via which Donkey Kong level they're most like? Hmm. I think the next the next person I'm going to announce is most like This is hard. This is a hard one. Maybe Fungi Forest? And I can't even tell you the reasoning why because then you would get it immediately uh but yeah if you make a character on that on the server and you want to play final fantasy 14 and join the the server you have to get the canon character name so like you know if you if you if you like have to do a misspelling to uh make the character then it's probably already taken um and uh yeah just shoot me a message. Shoot me a message in the Discord server and I'll get you in. Um, I was thinking of Thane or maybe even being silly Shiko from an AU idea I have. That hey, that would be more than that would be more than welcome. If you wanted to be Shiko, like that would be super cool. Um it's kind of like it's it's like an Isekai AU. Like all the characters got isekai into Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, what about background character number forty nine? Um, if you know their name, you can join. But but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I need all the Lene art for Maid's Kitchen. Yeah, no, there was a lot of bonuses. Let me see if I can find the list. I should have it on my computer somewhere. On second thought, I don't know if I do. Sorry. <laughs> you can join, but you won't be allowed to talk. Yeah, you, you got to play your role from the show, which is to not say or do anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. 
Oh, it's on my phone. My checklist is on my phone. But uh, I can't dig for it right now because I'm actually doing a stream at the moment, as it turns out. Um, want to play some games? Now, this isn't like a new series or anything. This is kind of just like I've already been playing Donkey Kong 64 idly for the past few weeks. And I'm just like, I wanted something to do other than just talk today. So, so now we're doing this. I should update the stream category. Performing for you. If you know the words, no, you don't. Fuck you. Put your hands together. It's how you clap as we take you through this tiny, tiny rap. Huh, DK. You can't play DK64 in a thunderstorm? Well, it's not storming right now. I'm curious as to what that means, though. I'm confused and a little bit scared. I know the dollop rap more than the original. I knew the original better, and now I know the dollop rap more. What's my eye doing? Stop. Just, just pay attention to my face for once, VTube Studio. Just work with me for three goddamn seconds. What did I do to deserve this? Is there a particular start part of the story they were isekai'd at? I've been playing post all of the volumes, personally, but also not everyone in the in the FC is there, so I'm saying at least after part one. Um, mainly because like I don't necessarily like playing characters pre-character development all that much. Uh, I don't. I mean, I already don't role play a ton, but like still. Is this real hardware? It is real hardware, yeah. I could take a picture of it and send it to you if my desk wasn't a fucking disaster right now. You're up to the manga. Okay, well, you're you're almost caught up then. Um, We haven't, like, been posting spoilers in chat, so you could still join if you really like the series. Uh, and we won't, like, spoil anything for you. It's just that some characters might behave a little bit differently towards each other than you might expect. Or maybe it's exactly what you expect and you just haven't, like, seen it happen in the manga yet. Who knows? But we're not really spoiling stuff. It's more of, like, RP in the sense of, like, we're just, like, we have the characters and we're playing as them and fun stuff. Thought you were talking about Chunky Kong? No, Chunky Kong is post-character development. He's, he's, he's... How's Piss Challenge 2023 going for y'all? I'm still going strong. Same. I'm I'm really hoping to take it this year. I I I've been trying for a long, long time. Um, we started at the end of 2024 or 2022, and I mean, it's it's gonna the results are gonna be announced pretty soon. So I'm kind of hoping that our hard work pays off. Oh, I just realized I'm doing a charity stream soon. I should probably take that out. <laughs> I probably will remove Piss Challenge 2023 for the sake of the charity stream. But don't don't you worry, it'll go right back. Nah, it's fine. The thing is, is I don't think anyone will mind, but it's like a professionalism thing, you know? I wanna be I wanna be professional in front of people that I respect the work of very much. Um Which by the way, by the way. I am gonna, like, say so in my server at some point, but I do want there to be, like, a standard of respect that we all kind of keep ourselves to. Um, mainly because, like, we have the actor for Prince Rod, uh, on the stream, and I do not want anyone to call him a dipshit, even though that's, like, a running joke in the server is that Rod Bauer is a dipshit brother. Um... We're gonna want to, like, keep that language to a minimum, because those are fine for, like, inside jokes for the server. 
but like it also could be like really mean if you're not in on the joke. So just everyone, please be nice. I know I probably don't have to say that, but uh, it's better to say it and not need to say it than not say it and when you need to say it, you know? It's simple, really. <laughs> Let me check the time. Oh yeah, we still got a little bit before uh, watch party. Bum 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 bum. Have it, has anybody been playing more uh, RuneScape Trailblazer? Because I've been going fucking nuts over it. It's so much fun. It's so good. It's like actually so incredible. I love it. I didn't realize that RuneScape could be that fun. Uh. It's been a long time since I've played RuneScape, but every time I've tried to get back into it over the years, I've not had a very good time. Just cause like, I don't know, it's been too long, you know? I just, uh, I, I, I'm, sometimes, sometimes the game when you get to the later levels feels like kind of just like a boring clicker game and I cannot like keep my focus. But RuneScape Trailblazer makes everything so much faster and more fun. And I just, I love it. And I'm getting to experience parts of the games I'd never get to see otherwise. Fred Fox, thank you so much for the tier one sub to Sahu, Michael O, Lemon Wedgeworth, Voyager Witch, and Bubba Tauchi. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been so much fun. Um, if you're on the fence about it, please try it. It's so much fucking fun. Um... Got you to reinstall the game after six years. That's a long time. Um, but yeah, similarly, I have not played in quite a few years, and I have been enjoying every minute of it. What is RuneScape Trailblazer? Uh, RuneScape Trailblazer is uh, a game mode in RuneScape that's going on for the next... I think it's got 44 days left on it. And the gist of it is that in RuneScape Trailblazer, you um, start a new character from scratch and you get a, what's called a relic, okay? So you start with a relic of your choice. You get to choose between three. And those relics are Trickster. Uh, I don't know the names of the other two because I didn't pick them, but I know what they do. Um, one is for crafting and one is for uh, gathering. So... Uh, I picked the trickster relic because it seemed the most fun to me and I think I made a good choice. Not that it is the best overall because I think they all have their ups and downs, but it is extremely fun. Um, so trickster makes it so that you can never fail a pickpocket and also you pickpocket automatically. So once you start pickpocketing, you don't have to like keep clicking to re-pickpocket people. You can just, uh, you can just click. Uh, once and then they'll keep pickpocketing until your inventory is full. Um, and so, uh, you get that bonus, you get a pair of shoes that, uh, just, like, gives you agility experience for running around, and also your, your, your sprint is infinite, so you never run out of sprint energy. Um, as well as some other things. There's a lot of, there's a lot of bonuses for your first relic. Um, and then you have uh, the gathering one, which makes it so that when you gather stuff, it automatically gets sent to your bank, which is completely busted, uh, by the way. Because um, that means you can you can literally just like, how far is it patched to? I see like everyone has a preferred version of RuneScape. Uh, well, it's just, it's old school RuneScape. So it's like the best version of it, um, in my opinion. Uh, I find I find old school RuneScape the most fun out of any of them. Um, I gotta pay attention. This is hard stuff. This is uh, reflexes. I gotta have. Um, hang on. Hang on. No! Chunky, no! Alright, we're not gonna make it. We gotta restart. Um... You doing a 100%... Uh, 101% run or just playing for funsies? This is a 101% run. Welcome to bonus day. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, no, you can be honest. A 100% run is not fun in this game. It's excruciating. And yet, I find myself coming back to it every couple of years. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's a uh, RuneScape 2, otherwise known as old school RuneScape, uh, and it is uh just so fun and there's all these different added like bonuses every few you you like do tasks right so there's achievements and when you do them you get points and then those points get to be spent on cosmetics for your real character who isn't like part of the 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 trailblazer league and uh like basically the more points you get you start off with a very limited map and then the more points you get you can unlock uh, more parts of the map. So, in Trailblazer, you start out only having, uh, Misthalan, which is, like, the main region, and, uh, Karamja, which is, like, the little island where you fight the dragon in Dragon Slayer. Um, and you start out with those, and then you keep doing tasks there, and then you unlock, uh, bigger continents, and you get to pick which ones you, you, you go, you go to. And then... Alongside that, your points are also spent on relics. And the relics, as you go on, are just as broken as the first ones that I mentioned. Can you get out of the fucking way, dude? Um... So, like, the... You start off with the crafting, gathering, or thieving relics, right? But there's even more cool ones. Like, one of them gives you a ring that can teleport you, like, almost anywhere on the map. Um... One of them gives you, uh, oh, the banker's note, which is so broken. Uh, it just lets you, uh, turn anything in your inventory to and from a banking note. Uh, which means that you essentially have no inventory limit. You could just, you never have to worry about inventory space. You could just keep collecting shit forever because banker notes, uh, will, like, stack any item. Um. I am not playing on an emulator. This is original hardware. Um, and I like it that way. Uh. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So there's, like, there's, like, all kinds of busted stuff. I know, uh, one of the last relics you can get, which I'm really excited about, is, like, the Slayer Axe or something like that, where, uh, if you come across any enemy that is below 20% HP, even if it's, like, a boss, even if it's, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game, if you get it down to 20% HP, you execute it. Like, you straight up just execute it. Um. So cool. It's so, so cool. Um. I'm just, I, oh, that is not a saxophone. Um. But yeah, no, it's it's been it's been crazy fun. It's been crazy fun the entire time I've played it thus far. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, I did stream it at one point, my first impressions, uh, which uh, it was kind of it was a very chill stream. I kind of wanted to do another one because we were just kind of like vibing and hanging out and stuff. Here we fucking go. Do you think I should try to stop saying fuck and piss and darn in all of my sentences uh, before the charity stream? Or do you think it matters? Maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, we're still we're raising money for a good cause. I'm just wondering, like, should I stop? Should I behave? Cuss words are funny. Please don't. Oh, like actively like you would be sad if I stopped swearing. I guess I have to, I guess I have to keep swearing then. Swear jar for charity. I tried that once and you know what? It, it costed quite a bit. And also, uh, me and my community were never the same after the is piss a swear argument. We've never really gotten along since then. <laughs> we just kind of, we just kind of all begrudgingly spend time with each other since, since that time. I gotta take a picture of a fairy underwater. Uh, let me get this banana, though. Nice. Yeah, it's a huge, huge elephant in the room. Nobody, nobody even, like, looks at each other the same anymore. Everyone's just upset all the time. <clears throat> Piss raises a movie's age rating if it gets uttered, hence swear word. 
I just I I disagree that that makes it a swear word. I think that it was never a swear word, and people in recent years have gotten more uppity about it. But that doesn't make it a cuss. This is totally a swear. Stop that. Stop that. We're not doing this again. Our chat can't, our community can't survive. Our, ch our community can't survive another conversation like this. No, no new piss argument. No. I'm putting a stop to it here and now. We can't. We have to, at the end of the day, we have to be able to look each other in the eyes. You may not like it, but that's them's the breaks. Can you? This is the worst camera angle for this. This is the. Now get the fuck out of my way. I'm out of here. I don't want to be here no more. Give me these watermelons. <laughs> Pisseth is in the Bible, not a swear. Well, they do swear in the Bible. I, I don't think that ass isn't a swear, and they say ass in the Bible. But I don't think that piss is a swear. It's, it, this is, this is, these are my principles and I'm sticking to them, okay? You don't have to agree with me, but we're not fighting about it. We can't, we can't do this again. Ah, oh, shit. Foiled again. Um strange isn't it <laughs> wow i was just like i looked away for two seconds and i was clipping through something i didn't know if i was going to survive or not i got scared every word in the bible is a swear every single one if you say so let's be lanky Leave it to Lanky. <clears throat> Which printing? Does it matter? I had like a, I had like something when I was growing up, I had something called the Remix Bible. Uh, Cause my parents wanted me to read the Bible more. So they bought me a, uh, an embarrassing version of the Bible that's supposed to replace all of the words with teen speak that cool kids will understand. Um, and it would say stuff like, Jesus was not totally with it in this case and disagreed with their views. And it's like the most awkward thing imaginable. But the thing is, is that when you have a Bible, and you go to youth group, they expect you to take your Bible with you to youth group and read along. So we would go to specific passages in the Bible. And I would be reading along being like, oh, my version's really different. Not saying anything. And then they would ask me to read from my version of the Bible. And I had no choice but to say the words that were in front of me. Which made no sense at all whatsoever that was that was that was a prank on me that was a prank on me i think my parents did that to 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 make me feel silly you have the remix bible i kind of preferred it if it was my own personal hallucination but i guess that's cool that someone else has suffered as i have 
Oh, this is, this is not. This is not easy. Jeez. Okay. Was it Old and New Testament? Yeah. Very few Bibles in the Pentecostal religion uh, would only include the Old or New Testament. Also, I did mention Jesus earlier. Okay, we got one. Robert, who's Robert Crumb? I feel like you're saying that name like I should know who it is. I do know about Manga Messiah. Is that anything? Do you remember, Ma does anybody remember Manga Messiah? It was, it was the New Testament manga. Oh, finally. <laughs> that was awful. Or Jesus met some Yakuza dudes. That is Saint Young Men. That is that is a movie. Oh, that might have been a manga too, though. The haters, a.k.a. the Roman Empire. <laughs> That's basically what it was like, though. Like, where's the lie? There is none. There is no lie. That's just it. That's that's what I was reading from. And everyone thought it was so funny, which it was. It was hilarious. Um, but at the time, I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't have anything else to read. My parents got me the Gamer Bible. I don't know what to do with it. The 60s underground comics. Gigantic Amazon women with huge butts. And and wait, where can I find these? Where can I find these? Is there like a website just so I know where not to look? To avoid, to avoid. I don't want to accidentally see it. work is deeply hetero huh are the guys hot because listen hetero hetero media does like like a, a broken clock is right twice a day in my opinion as a bisexual like Straight media doesn't always offend me, but there's there's a type of like deeply straight media that I can't really get behind But as a bi I'm like Like straight sexuality is not a deal breaker for me <laughs> Banana the guys that look like melting cartoon goblin people? Oh, well. <sighs> That's a shame. Fuck you. This is hardly a minigame. Where's the challenge? I'm just I'm just slaughtering baby alligators. They didn't do anything wrong! Ko 
the DA. Thank you so much for the raid with a party of four. D Dai? I'm sorry, I can't read. I never learned to read. And I won't start now. I'll tell you that much. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Here for charity? The charity is not here just yet. The charity is going to be on Saturday. Are we in the charity section on the Twitch page? The person who was helping me set this up said that might happen. Um, spread awareness for charity. Cool! Yeah, our charity stream is on Saturday. It's gonna be really fun. Welcome to bonus day. <laughs> Walkie talkies? They sounded like the the fucking the the, the Half Life uh, combine. Scary. Shit. I I can't get past this guy. Fuck. Pick up that banana. <laughs> hey, you. Pick up that banana. <laughs> nah, that was not my best work, personally. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. I missed the pineapple smells tour. That was fun. Hey, yo. Stay away from me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm sensitive to being looked at. Oh. Now's my chance. Oh, man. I gotta just pick a location. I gotta pick a FNAF sister location. Hello? Come in. Hi. 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 Dinny collab? Dinny collab? I would love to do a Denny collab too. Come in, we'll do a Denny collab. Uh, when when Penny and I go halfsies on dinner, we call it Denny collab. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. I'm good at anything. Um, Welcome to bonus stage. What? Some, oh, I was gonna suggest pasta, so don't listen to me. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. What ha wh who even has pasta? I don't even remember. <clears throat> we could just do something easy. Yeah. Who's healthy? We could get uh, Oh, here, let me mute my microphone. I think that's the right way, Welcome chat. I think that's the right way. I did get catched, though. Welcome to bonus stage.
Dang, this level's hard. It's kind of bullshit a little bit. Welcome to bonus day. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. I also make that noise when trying to choose food. It's okay. You got me, Selby. this way, right? No, it was the other way. Oh. No! 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 How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? This should never have happened to me. I can't believe this will happen to me. I almost walked right into that. Okay, we're good. Unbelievable. Let me just sneak right past you. All right, chat, I'm ordering food. One second. Sorry, I'm ordering food. It's taking a sec. What? Who, who put... Who put Diddy in hell? <laughs> My empire of dirt. <laughs> At least I have this tangerine. Um, there's the... Uh, oh, they don't look like nachos right away. What do they look like? They have it's oh, lettuce. ooh, fancy grilled chicken. What else is on this? I can't even. I can't even see the chips. There. I know. Queso, beans, lettuce, jalapenos, pico, box sour cream, and queso. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna get nachos. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Diddy Kong trapped in, in the abyss? He's just, he's man standing. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh! Why? Why? Oh. <laughs> 
I'm trapped here. I can never leave. It's because of all the blasphemy. I did too much blasphemy. We were talking about blasphemy earlier, kind uh -huh. of. I was talking about how I grew up with uh, a version of the Bible that was meant to sound like a cool teen version called the <laughs> Remix Bible. Yeah. And I took it to youth group and they asked me to read it and I had to say sentences like, Jesus was not totally with their behavior, so he decided to <laughs> speak out and stand up for his friends. And I was like, uh, eh, stop! <laughs> Everyone in the youth group was like, what are you reading? And I was like, I had no choice! I had a... I had a, I had a comic book Bible. Oh, they were talking about that too! Yeah! Oh, did y'all have the comic book Bible? That was... that was a real one. Yeah. That we... was... that was for all the art kids in, uh... Grew up evangelical. I do not know what I want. The Bible manga. <laughs> yeah, no, the man manga Messiah. We were talking about that too. There's, oh there's... yeah, it wasn't. So I didn't have one that was actually a manga. It was a. Uh, it was literally like. It was called the comic book Bible. It had I'm pretty sure it had like comic fans on it and everything. The action. I don't think it was the action Bible either. I remember it being specifically called the comic book Bible. I assume there was a few of those. So. I'm just gonna get trying to trying to get the Bible to be even remotely interesting to children is a uh, is a lucrative business because <laughs> they haven't found out how to do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots hey of... kids, isn't it totally cool how if you aren't a good person you'll burn in hell for all of eternity? Radical. Radical. Awesome. <laughs> Is that Mickey? <laughs> what? I don't know. I just thought, like, oh, what if kids would love if Mickey Mouse was here? They would. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if Mickey Mouse was here. I'm an unabashed uh, Mickey Mouse enjoyer. I hate to say it, but same. I'm kind of, I'm like kind of a Disney adult, and it's not better that I'm self-aware about you're it. You're not a Disney adult. You are an adult who, we've talked about this. You are an adult who enjoys it. There, you, the, <laughs> there are Disney adults that you do not even approach. I I know that there's worse than me, but also you're, you're more of a, I go to yeah, I go to Disney. To I went I went to Disney once, and I heard uh, Moana music playing at the big like thing that they do at the end of the day when they have like the big like light show. I heard Moana playing and I started crying. No, I started crying. When, uh, <laughs> I, I started crying when I saw Rapunzel's Tower at Disney World. Like that's not the same thing. Um, that's that's you know that's like a fleeting moment. Uh, if you were a Disney adult, you would be living your every like waking moment. I'd be a, I'd be a, I'd be a Disney like, Disney pin trading. Yeah, planning trips to Disney. You'd have like a Disney travel blog that you keep up. You, you know, you would have seen Wish at all. <laughs> like, what's Wish? <laughs> you're not a fucking Disney adult. <laughs> Wait, what's what's Wish? Uh, you know. No, I don't. You don't know what? That's the new Disney. Oh, movie oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. I, I I do know what Wish Disney is. Disney adult officially deconfirmed live on stream. <laughs> I'm telling you, give yourself more credit. You're more of a normie than you think. You're more of a normie than you think! Alright, I got what I wanted. Wait, do they have any bevs? Uh, probably not. Oh, yeah, you're right. They probably- Oh, you got me a peppermint mocha, right? Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that here? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I would have had to <laughs> Understandable. Are we talking about Disney adults? Yeah, I said I, I was a Disney adult, and Penny uh, does not agree. Penny thinks I am not a Disney adult at all. I kind of think I am, though. I'm like, not not full Disney adult. Like, not like 100%. You not! You didn't even know that Wish was out! I didn't... <laughs> I mean, I know what it is now. And also that it's out, because people are complaining about it. Do you have any interest in seeing? No. Not a I'm gonna watch Cinderella after this stream. It makes you a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So chat, have you ever heard of this little game called Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Oh no, I can't touch the floor. I'm a genius. Watched my Cage 4 reaction like four hours ago. Awesome! I can't wait for that. Uh, I can't wait for that game. That's gonna go so hard. And maybe since there's less, like, expectation around it like there was for KH3, people will be normal. Normal and when reviewing it instead of insane. Sorry, I'm like the- I'm the KH3 defender. It was worth it to get out of there before he closed his mail. Why he have teeth? Cause he needs gotta be scary. I'm in the realm! Let me out! Let me out! I don't wanna die here. Have you read the Simpsons Bible comic with Millhouse in it? No. I actually, unfortunately, am not as much of a purveyor of the Simpsons as I wish I was. Um, but I guess that just means I have, like, a lot of Simpsons to catch up on. Because I've only seen, like, a few episodes. Which means that the best of my Simpsons experience is still ahead of me, right? Right, chat? Hello? Let me in. Oh wait, did I already get this one? Oh, I'm a silly fucking goose. Do not watch past season 10. That is what I have heard. <clears throat> That's like infamously so, right? Like season 10 is like... Up, up, I've heard that there's, like, one episode in particular that, like, ruins everything, and it, like, like, makes the entire show worse by comparison, and it never gets good again. Newer Simpson is slowly getting its own groove. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I like the Jacob Geller Simpsons video about Don Hertzfeld and his couch gag. But everything that Jacob Geller makes is a gift. It's a good video. It's a really good video. Jacob Geller mentioned, uh, you can blame Koo for that. Ku showed me Jacob Geller's videos, and I've been obsessed ever since. I've never, I've, I've been like making a video essay in my head about Wolfenstein since like the day I was fucking born. Uh, and he just said all the stuff I wanted to say. So it was like, damn, okay, we're good. I guess I got nothing more to say. I care so much about Wolfenstein. In the Death Note parody, Lisa kills all the board of directors for an oil company. <laughs> cool. 
I went to I've had I've had real I've had a real steamed hams. I've had a real one in real life. I know what they taste like. Because if you go to Universal Studios, they have a crusty burger there. You want to make an essay on New Colossus or Wolfenstein in general? Specifically Wolfenstein 2. Actually, there was a lot of stuff from Wolfenstein 1, though, that I had to say, too. Like, there's just that... Oh, God, those games are just filled with amazing everything. Are they obviously grilled? Yeah. They taste like love. There's love in every bite. They taste like love and friendship. They make me so happy. Homer editing the Ten Commandments. That's funny. They did taste awfully this awfully similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. But I'm told it was an old family recipe. Quinn! Quinn, this this guitar riff is for you! Yeah, Quinn! That's what Diddy Kong was thinking when he played that guitar. Yippee! Hooray! Well, you're an odd fellow, but you steam a good hand. That's like the funniest bit in existence. Is it one of these? Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know which one opened. Oh, there we go. May I see it? Oh, it's too dark. I can't fucking see. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Fish Lakitu, for bringing the, the, the spotlight. <clears throat> Bibby Kong! Bibby Kong! Oh, look at this dude. He's pissed. What time is it? 47. Okay, we do got to wrap up kind of soon. Because we got a watch party tonight. No, stay away from me. Okay. The camera is just so awful for this. Shit. No! Oh, I really didn't want to do it a second time. Ugh. One more jump and I would have had it. I should do like a... I should do like a... A speedrun of this game at some point. Just like... But like the 101% the speed run that's like 20 hours or whatever. Would y'all watch that? Would y'all enjoy it? <clears throat> well, 
Just to like say we did. Just to like say we did. He exploded again. So pissed off he exploded himself twice. Good night, Gen. Dolph is gonna have her own how do you beat beaver bother beaver bother moment. I've beaten beaver bother many times at this point. I still hate it. I still think it's the worst part of the game. But I do know how to do it. I have the muscle memes. Is this the level with the mechanical fish? There is a mechanical fish in this one. And he's single. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, he probably is, though. <laughs> Ooh la la. Please respect him. Please. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's single out of my way. Out of out of your way? Out of my way. And he's gay. Is Dollop ever hinged? I'm hinged. I can be hinged. I'm so hinged. I'm so fucking hinged. Why don't you believe me, chat? I'm hinged. What? Who? What? Fred Fox, thank you for the hundred bits. He is, he's mass. Is he massive? Is he blue? Is he from One Piece? Even though I've never seen that. Out of my way. <laughs> He's not blue. He's orange. Um, I think it might be time to wrap up. Just because I want to make sure I have time to set stream up. And my food's probably going to get here. During the watch party. <laughs> so that'll be a fun little thing. Um, all right. What food? Tacos. I got tacos on the way. Let me see if there's any fan art to look at. I'm going to check Twitter first. I mean, X. Also, remember... Very, very soon, if you're not coming, I, I'm going to remind everybody during the watch party tonight. But uh, this Saturday, uh, December 2nd, at 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. EST, we are having a charity stream. And we got some really cool guests on board, uh, including the English dub voice actor for Ray, uh, Ray Taylor, from I'm in Love with the Villainess, and the English dub voice actor for Rod Bauer. Uh, the first prince in ILTV and my friend Mona who does additional voices in ILTV so please get excited because it's gonna be a blast and also I'm not done announcing stuff I'm not done yet we got more announcements to do so look forward to that we do have one piece of fan art from the discord specifically from Rhapsody who has made this beautiful, gorgeous art of what is this? It's a uh, magnet. It's 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 the song Magnet, but with Sparkle on Raven. Hang on, I need to make the smallest 
window is huge. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Rhapsody, for this fantastic Sparkle on Raven art. Uh, if you're not aware of Sparkle on Raven, that is a uh, MS Paint fan anime that me and my friends do. You should totally watch it. It's hilarious. It's it's amazing. It's perfect. It's everything. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for coming to the stream, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic night. Uh, please take care. Uh, and don't forget to be yourself. All that good stuff. Um, no raid because we're doing a watch party. So get in the Discord server because we're going to watch Discord videos. Um, goodbye, everybody! <laughs>